to update you guys on one of the rooms that we are having to clear out ahead of this move i cannot believe it even though this room didn't have much in it to begin with so it made it a little easier but as y'all can see i pretty much okay i pretty much have majority of the stuff you have chanel stuff poo stuff what is that noise, y'all? I don't know if someone has moved below us. And they're trying to say that I'm too loud. You hear that, poopy? I want to be able to look back on this and just kind of remember this day, these times. These times. And, um, yeah, I just want to say that this has been one heck of a journey. South Carolina has been nothing but good to me. I've made some amazing memories up here. I've met some amazing people. I'm truly going to miss it here. Like, that's one thing about me when it comes to, like, entering into a new season or, like, when things are for me are about to change, I get really sad. I think because change and I, we just don't go well. And I think losing a lot of people in my life, like, family-wise, like, it's kind of... I don't know, like, for me, that just goes hand in hand. Like, I don't really like change. Like, I love change. Don't get me wrong. I actually do like change. I love change. But it's just change in itself that, like, scares me or makes me feel away. And then I know, like, when I used to be in, like, middle school or high school and the last day of school was, you know, happening, like, I would be so sad. I would cry because it's like, wow, like, this is a chapter or an era that I would never get back. Like, it's done. It's completed. On to the next. So... I don't know. I've been a little emotional and down a little bit because I am going to miss it up here. This has definitely become my home away from home. So I'm just blessed and thankful for the opportunity and just what I've learned up here, being up here, what I've seen, what I've, you know, outgrown. Like just so much, you guys. I'm definitely going to miss this apartment, but I know what God has next for me. It is going to be so amazing. Like I can literally feel it what's up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl Brianna and baby as y'all can see from the title of this video we are moving um but before i get into all of that let me just say today is thursday it's pretty much my friday today so your girl is chilling i'm currently headed to um a beauty supply store let me push this down so y'all can see my face or do y'all like this view let me know in the comments but i'm headed to the beauty store because y'all look at these nails as y'all know i had duckies for my miami trip and the lady who did my nails y'all that's a story time in itself and i think i should do one i think i'm gonna do a story time and it's giving witchcraft like i have to get these off like asap so i um kind of know how to do a little one two three i have like a acrylic set that was gifted to me by poo like last year and i love it because it's times like this where like if i don't have to go to the nail salon i could do my stuff myself i'm gonna take advantage of that 
So I'm about to go to the nail salon because, I mean the hair store because we have a hair store called Beauty World and literally they have everything like nail stuff, hair stuff, they have charms. But I'm really just going to get some charms and some monomer because I'm out of monomer and I can't do my nails without monomer. Y'all know the little stuff that be like real strong when you go to the hair store, I mean the nail salon. That's what I need. So I'm about to head there and get that. I may stop and get me some food. And I also have a package that I need to drop off or an order. Somebody placed an order yesterday, so I'm just headed to the um, post office because it's not letting me create a ship label from Etsy. So I'm gonna have to get like a ship label from the post office as well. So uh, the post office will be my very last stop because I hate the post office. So I'm about to do those things, y'all. I'm super excited because I love doing my nails. And I'm gonna just do like a little short set. I had like nookies and they were kind of long. So I'm just do something short and cute. And then um, I was gonna put on a wig. So hopefully I'll have time to do that today. But I also need to pack because um, I will be heading to Atlanta. So I need to go ahead and start packing because I haven't started packing. Um, I'm gonna just be there for like the weekend. Um, really just to do some apartment tours. And you guys, I'm so excited because I haven't done apartment tours since I got here, which is, I haven't done an apartment tour for myself since I was in college or when I was like graduating college because at that time I was going to move in to an apartment in Tallahassee, but I didn't end up living and staying in Tallahassee. So yes, I am so excited y'all because this is literally like my dream. I have always wanted to live in these type of luxury apartments my whole entire life. Like. The day or like when I noticed or realized what these types of apartments were I was like yes that is me I don't want anything else if it's not that like so the time has come for me to finally you know go start looking at these types of places um, although I won't be planning to move until like you know really like three four months from now I want to start you know looking and touring so that I could just kind of like have my eye on a place where three and start budgeting and saving and getting the things that I need to get to get to that place so I have three places that I will be touring tomorrow you guys my inventory is growing like the more that I grow my business like my business is growing my inventory is growing so i'm gonna need somewhere to put all this inventory when i get into this apartment and so my dream apartment not only has like the high rise amenities and windows that i want but i need not even want but i need at least a two bedroom apartment because i want a space for creating content um kind of like a closet space like a beauty room vanity section like i've been wanting that for like a year now i want like my own place to like sit down do my hair do my makeup like i've never had that designated space and i need it so that is definitely one of my goals is to have a two bedroom so that one of the rooms can be just designated for you know beauty content clothes and just a place for me to gather with y'all and just talk and yes <clears throat> and then of course i want the other bedroom to be my room like my room and i want it to be like my safe space like i just want it to be a place where i can like unplug and just be comfortable at peace and it needs to be everything that i want it and envision it to be places will be mine but this one specifically that i've just you know outlined for you all has all three of those things so it has a master bedroom a guest bedroom and it has like a a nook kind of like a it's not a room it's like an office space like it's so perfect because it's dang near like a three bedroom but it's not it's a penthouse it has um the tub and shower combo that i like like i want to be able to have a bathroom that has like a tub and a shower separately not to where i have to do both oh my god my camera's dying so let me try to make this quick okay so that's that place y'all it's absolutely perfect i love it however the reviews are horrible and one thing about it if you see an apartment that has horrible reviews 
that's a red flag like them people are not lying they are telling the truth and then lastly there's the next place that's actual actually a one bedroom but it's perfect because the bathroom is absolutely huge and i love a huge bathroom because i like to make that my getaway my safe space as well and kind of like i love to make my bathroom into a spa so i love that about that apartment and then the next place or that apartment it has a office space kind of like a den area it's dang near like a two-bedroom but it's not it's like designated for a uh, office so i love that about the second place and the ceilings are very high and i love that in apartment in an apartment as well and lastly the last place that i have is it's it doesn't have an office space but it does have a, the two-bedroom feature which i'm willing to sacrifice because the views are immaculate it's very nice and most importantly the reviews were all good like it's it's kind of like the first one just without the office space and it has amazing reviews not one bad review um very great customer service with the management and that is very 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 important to me as a resident because one thing about it if you're moving into an apartment and the management sucks you will have a hard time living there so that is very important to me so it's just a matter of seeing what is more important to me if i'm gonna be putting thousands of dollars into an apartment i need to know like okay will it have everything that i want and need so that is really the main thing you guys when we go look at these apartments um this weekend so just stay tuned i'm super excited to like bring you guys along with me in this journey and i'm just praying and hoping that it is everything that i not only want but just need okay y'all so i made it to beauty world this is the owl that has literally everything i need to do my nails and then this over here is what i had all the charms and stuff like this is so cute like literally look at this this is fire it's like heaven girl heaven but all i need really is monomer and i'm wondering if this is monomer it says acrylic liquid so i think this is what i'm looking for yeah so let me check these out and i will get back with you guys these are too cute okay y'all so i am out of the nail i keep calling it a nail shop the hair store and this is the charms i ended up getting they're super cute um they were 25 dollars i don't like it 25.99 but they did have a 20 percent off everything sales so i was able to get a few dollars off of that i guess and i got my monomer and i got me a filer because i needed a filer um so i'm gonna go home and get myself together and i'm gonna show y'all my nails when i'm done i'm super excited to see how this comes out because i've been wanting to have charms for a very long time so let's see in the little case they put it in it's so cute the little hello kitty that's so cute i guess that's what you're paying for so yeah let's go home and see how these come out y'all good morning guys today is friday and we are headed to atlanta georgia so it is currently 8 13 in the morning i am running a bit behind schedule but i wouldn't be me if i wasn't running behind schedule like seriously so i am about three hours away i won't get there until about 11 30 and that is with me not speeding so i'm gonna try and get there a little bit earlier than that because Atlanta has traffic and I don't want to be late. Um, I may or may not just go ahead and head straight there. We'll see how I feel. But I did want to change. So, yeah, I'm going to see. But, yes, my first tour is at 12 o'clock. So, that's why I'm like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I didn't show you my nails. I did them last night. One of my charms already popped off, but I bought everything I need to, like, put them back on. But they look so cute, you guys. Little charms. Y2K vibes. Um, I did bring my wig as well. I'm gonna probably just wear my hair like this to the tours because I didn't feel like you know doing anything to it. But I'm gonna put my wig on when it's time to go get food with my girl Danny tonight. So yes, I'm super excited, you guys. I haven't been in Atlanta in like two years, which is crazy. So I'm headed there now, and I will just see y'all and check in with y'all once I get into Atlanta. Coming soon to me. You guys, I have made it here. 
traffic, of course. I am 10 minutes away and I still have got 30 minutes, so I was probably gonna go and try and find me some food because I'm hungry and I don't have no energy. I'm so tired. So yes, we have made it, you guys. It's been a long time. But I'm happy to be here, I trust. So let me get myself situated and get all the way in the city and I will update you guys once I get to the destination. Okay, you guys, so I have made it here. Um, the parking garage is absolutely full, y'all. Like, y'all know how Atlanta gets down. So I had to park in this reserved parking spot. And um, it was a security guard, so I asked him, like, hey, you know, I'm just visiting. Is there, like, somewhere I can park? And he said I can go ahead and park in visitors. So I'm hoping these men know what he talk about. Um, and I'm set to go. But I'm here a little. Why is my lip gloss leaking? Like I don't got time for this. I'm hoping you know what he talking about. So my car better be here. He said it's just for police. So. Pretty much, I'm all good. So I'm about to go inside, y'all, just to get myself situated since I'm here a little early. And um, I will see y'all when I get inside. Time to tour our first property. I'm so excited. <sighs> Moments like this, it'd be a lot going on, so I'd be trying to like collect myself because I'd be like, oh my gosh, like it's happening. Um, I do have to use the restroom as well, so I'm gonna see if like I can go use the bathroom, get myself together, clean myself up, and then go from there. So. Honestly, I don't think I need my wallet, but I'm going to bring it anyway because it's Atlanta. So, let's go ahead and go inside. Literally on the 23rd floor, y'all. But it's actually not a bad I don't mind it. 
I just was like, oh, it's oh, my ears on the pop. Oh, okay, let's go. 23.06. This is nice. This, wait, I gotta collect myself. This is beautiful. Oh, like the camera can't even focus. Oh my, you guys. This is, oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed in awe. Oh my God. Oh my God, like I'm literally shaking. This is beautiful, like, oh my God. Y'all, I have been looking at these apartments for days and like, online versus in person, it does no justice. Like, this is, wow. I guess this is the bedroom. You get plenty of space, very high ceilings. I love that. Wow, and then you get a beautiful view from wow 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 this is just like I'm scared you guys see even put my oh wow this is beautiful I don't need to see anything else this is it last one which I'm used to and you get five stove tops nice microwaves stack laundry Washer and dryer. Wow, this is, I can't get over this. Okay, guys, I'm about to get ready to go to the second place. So, this is 2306, and I'll have to go to the Four and twelve. So let's head to the second, um, I guess, floor plan and see what it's all about, you guys. I'm in love with this one though, but I'm pretty sure the one bedroom is just as nice. So let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm a little emotional right now. It's crazy how well I'm doing this elevator stuff. Y'all yeah, know I hate elevators, but I'm a little teary-eyed because, um, thank you, Jesus. You guys, I had a dream that I saw the number 06, Let me sit you guys down. Um, I think God just, I think God just something with me. I've done this before. I don't know if I'm reaching. Please let me know if I'm reaching you guys. I was saying about two weeks 
to go. I had to get out here crying, but y'all, God is real. God hears your prayers. Jesus. I hope I'm not being dramatic, but I had a dream. Oh my God. I had a dream and I saw the numbers. 0603. And then I saw the number 0602. And God has never confirmed anything with me before. He's never done it. But when he showed me these numbers, I did not know what they were for. I kept saying, like, what does this mean? But I just, I left it alone. Because the scenario of the dream was I was watching somebody unlock their phone. So I just said, I'm going to write the numbers down just in case this means something. And I wrote them down and I'm going to insert a picture, you guys. And as y'all can see, I just showed y'all that clip of me touring that first apartment and the numbers of the apartment is 2306 even though it's not in the same order those are the exact numbers that I've seen in my dream <sighs> guys I hate to get on camera and be emotional like this but I guarantee you I promise you in three to four months I will be standing in that same apartment that I was just in with all of my stuff but let's go ahead and look at this, this, this floor plan. Oh. Okay, so you come in and you have a beautiful open kitchen. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. It's nice, but I kind of like the other one um, that's white because, um, I don't know, it kind of brings more light, you know, with the extra space. It's kind of dark over here. Beautiful black, uh, beautiful back. Uh, I can't say it. Beautiful back splash. Um, and it's not like the plastic. Like this is actual, like hard. I love the cabinet space, and you know this is luxury. This would be official luxury if when I close these, it sl it closes slowly. Uh, wait. Oh, oh. It didn't close slow, y'all. They need to update, upgrade that. Nice dishwasher. I didn't even check to see if the last one had like a dishwasher. This is the view from this floor plan. I don't know y'all. I kind of like the other one. I don't know if this is if it's because this one is on a, like a lower floor. But I don't I don't feel like it brightens up the room as much as the other one. Like this one doesn't feel like home. The other one I just saw it felt like home. So I am in love with this. Well, I'm in love with it, period, but I'm not like in love with it like the other one. You get another balcony view. Slightly larger, it looks larger or seem larger to me. And let me just say this, I am truly in love with these doors. Like, oh my goodness. <clears throat> They're so tall, you guys. And one thing about me, I love tall ceilings when it comes to an apartment. And then the doors match the ceilings. Like it's not like my other apartment. It's like the ceilings are pretty tall but the doors are short but these doors even though you probably can't tell just count these one two three four five six and then i want to see if i can put myself this is why i need a bigger lens y'all so y'all can get like a wide angle view of how big this is like i wish i could show myself next to it but i don't i didn't bring my tripod i guess this is one of the bathrooms i do like that the closet is connected to the bathroom. And one thing about it, when it comes to space, this closet is huge. Again, nice, tall, tall ceilings. And you actually, cause I need an office, you guys, y'all know I have my business. So I could put like a full um, desk in here, even though you can't tell, you could put like a vanity in here. You get more storage space, more than enough storage space. Beautiful shower. I want to see what the pressure look like, y'all. I mean, um, huh? Okay, this is decent. This is what I will be checking for when I tour apartments, y'all. But y'all have to check stuff like that because you get into the apartment and it be super low and it be raggedy. So no, no, ma'am. When you come out of the bathroom, his or her sinks. Um, and it has more storage, which 
I love. I have this in my, I had this in my last apartment and I love it because you can either make this like really like decorative, get really cute, like, you know, minimalist bottles and, you know, put little labels on them or you can make this like a decoration. Like, you know what I'm trying to say if you need this extra storage, but I think you get all this storage here and I don't have that much stuff right now, but, um, this is a one bedroom. I, I, Cause I forgot how we like put it, you guys. And then you get your wash and dryer, which I love. This is probably, or would be the most nicest wash and dry I've probably ever seen or come into contact with. Um, it doesn't have like the storage in it. So I guess you would use this right here, but I wouldn't want like my laundry stuff just out and open. And I think this is, oh, this is a coat closet. So you get so much space. This is a huge one bedroom. Um, <clears throat> you pretty much have everything you need. And as y'all can hear the echo, that just goes to show that it's a lot of space. Um, I don't know, it's just something about this floor plan that's awkward to me. Like, I am I like the island thing. Like, I'm tired of the corner, you know, kitchen. I want to experience like an island open kitchen. <clears throat> and then when it comes to, because I always think about how I would set up my couch. So, I would most likely have to do like an L-shaped um, sectional and put my TV here or here. Probably here. It just make this like a little nook. Um, I love this. I love the space. I just don't love it as much as the first one. So we are going to go to the next one because I'm not so crazy about this one. But y'all see I'm broke down and crying in here. Um, so the next one is on the same floor. So let's go check that one out and see what's next. Okay, you guys, I just walked through the door. So this is the third floor plan. This is a one bedroom. So this is the second one bedroom. Not as much space as the last one, but again, you have this dark oak hardwood kind of looking cabinets, um, darker plan, gray um, countertops. Um, I love this digital thermometer. Like this is, this is dope. I love that. This is the view you get. I don't know if it's cause you know, the season. So the sun is like rising and setting that way. Um, or from that way. This is the view you get. The balcony looks a little larger than the other ones. It's very windy out here. Um, this is your view. About it because you don't really see anything. I kind of want to be facing like the traffic um, and more buildings. But this is the living room and open like kitchen you get. And I like this one better than the last one we just looked at because it's an open kitchen. So you get like a full um, island. And this island is bigger than the island that was in the first one we looked at. Um, and you get three bulbs here instead of the two. Um, but same situation as far as the L shaped kind of, um, sofa. And then it'll probably have to come out this way because the door to the balcony is there. And then this is the only place I would get to like mount a TV. Cause if you put it over here, it'd kind of be a little awkward. So I don't know. The floor pans are a little weird, like as far as spacing, cause you know, obviously I'll have to put my couch on this wall and then TV I have to go here. So pretty much everything's the same as, you know, what we've been looking at. The bedroom is a lot more brighter than, you know, the living room and stuff. I'm a living room girl. So nine times out of 10, I'm going to be spending like more of my time in the living room. So I like my living room to be everything. Like I could, I would rather the bedroom be a little bit more darker and then the room be a lot more living room be a lot more um brighter but as y'all can see you can see stone mountain from here like look how big it is like you can literally see like the details on the mountain and all but this is the view from the room the bedroom which i do like um 
this is a bathroom this is the one that I saw online that I like as far as the floor plan because you get the shower and the tub combo um get out the shower and get right into the tub for a nice little soak I really like that and one thing I favor about this floor plan is the laundry room or wash and dryer unit is connected to the bathroom in the closet i think this is pure genius i never understood or understand why most apartment complexes they put the washer and dryer like in the middle of the kitchen like so you have to go way out from you know the bathroom or your bedroom to wash your clothes or put up your clothes when you know you got this this way you know you get out the shower you're about to shower you could just boom put your clothes in washer or the dryer and and I like how it comes with storage. So all your laundry stuff, you can store it here, get a nice little laundry bin. I am in love with this. I know I said that the first time, but as far as one bedroom goes so far, this one has to be my favorite. The last one, not so much, but I think this one as far as one bedroom, nothing compares to the first apartment. I love that apartment um, or floor plan. So I think I'm gonna wrap up here and go to our next one. Um, even here you still have a lot of storage space so I think this would be considered like a um, pantry this is probably like a mini coat closet and as y'all can see look at all that ceiling space like the camera does no justice y'all I need a wider lens but seriously like this is like a lot of space at least high ceilings and then I think you get another pantry space so this is nice on top of all of this cabinet space and island cabinet space you should be good i'm not a big fan of these like one sink sinks like i'm a two sink girl so i can have my you know dish water and then where you rinse and stuff but nonetheless this is nice i like it so let's go to the next one you guys let me know what y'all think down below what y'all think of these four plans so far and which one you would pick Okay, guys, so I'm in the, this is my third one-bedroom. The first one I was in was a two-bedroom, but this is my third one-bedroom, um, or second bedroom. Second one-bedroom, right? I don't know. I don't lost. I don't forgot. But this one, I am also a fan of because it is on the opposite side, so I'm getting that sunlight in both here and in the bedroom. Now, with this floor plan, y'all, the bedroom is much larger, so I'm walking in here. You get a full closet, which is also still pretty huge. And you walk in, and I like how everything is kind of like on the wall instead of like just on one side. Um, and this bedroom is bigger, like it's bigger. So this view from here, I like. But the only thing I don't like, which I kind of just noticed, um, I don't know what this place is across the street, but there's a woman Y'all can't see her because the windows are kind of tinted. Um, there's a woman across the street, and she kind of saw me when I walked on the balcony. I'm guessing that I believe these windows are tinted, maybe. But um, it also comes with blinds. I never showed y'all that. Because um, a lot of times I say my blinds not going to be up. But you get blinds that are already installed in the unit. So that's pretty neat. Um yeah so i really like how big this bedroom is like this is huge i could definitely fit like a bed a vanity a, you know i could make this my office vanity and bedroom and then you get the closet and then i also like that this unit has a larger bathroom you guys so you come into the bathroom and close this door okay they put all that in here which is also better than the hallway you get that I love these lights that just automatically, they're like sensor lights that come on when you open the door. But wash and dryer unit in here again, and it's literally a room. So literally you get off the toilet or you get off whatever, the shower, get off the shower, and you can just put your clothes right in here. Like, it's a lot of space in here. It's marble flooring, so I really like that. You don't get a lot of um, storage in the bathroom. That's the only thing, and you get his and her sinks. But very 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 high um ceilings you guys and then oh this is more storage i guess like a linen closet and carpet on the ground but 
it's nice in here this one has like a distinct smell to it so i'm not really sure um if it's because y'all like you know when people move out and they kind of have like their own smell i think that's what it is but let me wipe this up on my for i hate when my lips get like that but i'm a fan of this one um the only thing i would say that i don't like is um I don't think it's nothing that I don't like about that one. I also didn't mention you guys. I love that the like the apartment itself is inside because I don't like inside. I mean outside apartments. And I love that you get like these little lights. Super cute. It gives like a hotel feel. And it's just nice and clean. Like it smells nice. It's quiet. So now but yeah, I love how like the hallway is very, very nice and spacious and it's it's nice. I love it. Cause that's important to y'all. All these things are okay, now we're going down. So I love how she started me at the 23rd floor and now we're going down. So I didn't have to go like, you know, from down to up. So I think this is the corner room because I've been looking at these wondering if this is uh no this is right here yeah okay okay it's already on low is it oh it's not good in here oh the door I can already know because I don't watch so many tours that what's gonna be around this corner. So let's just let's just go see. Wow. Wow. It smells so good in here. He had to be that just came in and cleaned that man I just seen in the hallway. Wow. This is <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Wow, you guys. <sighs> this is, this is beautiful. And I don't wanna, again, I know I told y'all when I, it's funny you guys because one of my favorite YouTubers or two of my favorite YouTubers actually stay in this same floor plan. So it's kind of like, um, you know, not to sound like a stalker or anything, but it's kind of just a surreal moment for me because I've always watched and watched and watched my favorite YouTubers and influencers kind of like live out their dreams and you know finally get into that you know high rise so this is like wow this is what I was witnessing just seeing them do their tours like wow this is what they what they seen this is what they saw like this is this is everything like but one thing I love about this unit, of course, is, or obviously, is the panoramic views that you get. And you're definitely going to be paying for it. Um, definitely, when you move in here, you have to get, like, a section that goes, like, you know, this way. I would prefer it this way. That way, I can look at the views because you can definitely, I used to hate these. Like, these poles, I used to wonder, like, why do they put these freaking poles in the middle of apartments? But I believe it's so that you can have a place to mount your TV um, just in case if everybody isn't going to follow the floor plan and put their, you know, couch, whichever way the windows don't face. So I love this. Um, this is a two bedroom unit. So you get another like, you know, view here. Oh, it smells so good in here. And then you come in here and it's you know the combo of the garden tub which i love and then the shower and then you get your closet space that space space which i also love um nice big room it's not as big as the one i just toured but it's decent like i don't plan on doing a lot for the rooms um my main thing is my guest bedroom which i ultimately want to make into my beauty room in my office so this right here is this is immaculate but 
This is the open kitchen. It comes with a beautiful, beautiful um, island, which I love. Y'all have seen come this away. Nice high ceilings. Wow, it's like I'm um, literally. It's like it's just it's just weird, like seeing what I saw on YouTube and then like I'm being I'm here. Like. <sighs> but here is the guest bathroom. Pretty standard bathroom. Just a shower. Me looking good and thick. Wait. And then you come in here, and this is a second bedroom, which kind of feels larger, but I believe it's the same size. Um love the views from here like this is what I want to see this is what I want to see baby um the very first one that I was on it was way up high on the 23rd floor so I could see that pool but from here like I can look directly at it and it's funny because one of the tours that I seen on YouTube a girl that toured these pretty much the same floor plans this I, I'm guessing this is an apartment it was being built like the top of it wasn't even done so it looks like they're still working on it but that is so crazy and I think her tour was like five months ago or a month ago or eight months ago I don't know but I, that's just in random interest in fact but these look like they're gonna be nice as well it looks like they've already started unless that's just like demo rooms but you can see empty apartments on that side. It literally looks like what this is, but it don't look like for the ceiling to me. Anywho, um, pretty standard room. Literally the same amount of like closet space. Um, I love these drawers that you get to look at because it's it's dope. It's dope. But yeah, this is this is nice. Okay, you guys, so I think I'm going to wrap up here. I'm going to have one more floor plan to view, but I think I'm pretty much good. I don't want her to think I am, like, trying to, I don't know. <laughs> so, I'm going to go back down and talk to the leasing agent after my last one, and then I'm going to see you guys when I get in the car, because I need to go get me something to eat. I'm super hungry. Um, so, yes, my next tour isn't until tomorrow at 3.30. So, that is when we do our next tour. But tonight, we do have dinner with one of my friends, Danny. So, I will be bringing you guys along with me tonight and doing that. But I'm going to wrap up here and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, you guys. So, ooh. I... I'm in awe. Bye. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> now I was like, oh, my car's still here. Thank God. Oh, yes. Have a good one. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a good one. Did you make your decision? Then? Yes. So. Gotcha. Yes. Have a good one. I hope I see you again and I'll take, take it easy and drive safe because people, yeah. they piss me off driving. Yeah, they be driving crazy out here. Thank, they do, they love it. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. He was a sweet, 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 sweet young man. Very nice. He's, um, there's security here, which is crazy because I haven't lived anywhere with their security. So I love that because Atlanta is known. Oh. I took my shoes off, y'all. I don't want to block the break, but Atlanta is known for like having lots of break ins and crime, high crime. And so, I love that they have 24 hour concierge. Um, if I'm saying that right, concierge, concierge, um, 24 hours. So, I love that. And then, which way should I go? Hmm. Let's go this way. So yes, 24 hour concierge, concierge. I don't know how to say it. Um, and then they have security, like he walks the garage. So that's very like comforting to know that, you know. And I just saw a influencer, he had a camera in his hand. And that was funny because the leasing agent, she told me that um, like he's literally walking me out, y'all, the parking garage. He making sure I'm getting out of here. But,
Okay, I'm gonna do this one. I'll give you a little bit of a little bit of Y'all, he don't walk away. I hit to this dog on us. So I walk to make sure I didn't get <laughs> safe. But. Y'all, I am literally blown away at how beautiful that apartment was and is. I don't need to see. I need to turn. I don't need to see any more apartments. Like, I'm honestly good. Like, I'm good. I, and I knew, I knew that I was going to fall in love with this one. But the crazy thing is, y'all, I have so much to say. The crazy thing is, I, okay, the last apartment that I toured, that was one that was already on my mind. Like, I already knew that in the back of my mind, I wanted that apartment. Like, I already knew. It was already decided. The first apartment that I toured, that was the two-bedroom, and it was, like, the open. Even though that's not panoramic view, and that's what I've been wanting, panoramic, panoramic, panoramic view, I, I'm i more so in love with the first one. Like, the spacing is perfect. I, I just loved everything about it. Like, it was absolutely perfect for me. And all of the ones that I toured, they had, like, the garden tub and the shower separate which is an amenity that I want in an apartment or my next place as far as those. So I am genuinely like in love. What you doing? I'm genuinely in love with that first one. And I love so many, there's so many things that I loved about that apartment or just the complex in itself. Not as showing the little buildings on my app, the maps. But I love the service. Like from the security to the concierge, Am I saying all right, Concierge? I don't know how to say it. <laughs> to the leasing agent, to the um, it's people that's cleaning. They were cleaning in the hallways. They're um, cleaning people. They were nice. Like the energy there was good. It felt like a home. It felt like a place I would call home. Um, and literally, the reviews are perfect. So I didn't feel like a sense of like anxiety. Or like not feeling welcomed or wanted there you know i didn't feel like i would be judged if i wasn't pulling up in a bmw or bmw or anything like that so i truly am in love with that place like it's no other place that i want to go to that one is it for me like seriously i will something that would be hard for me would be letting go of that of wanting that panoramic view but i would rather have more space because that is literally what you're paying for that panoramic view it's so beautiful, but I think I would rather the other floor plan. But I'm gonna see. And like y'all seen, I was very vulnerable and very personal in this vlog because this is something that I've wanted my whole entire life. And God, he spoke to me today. And I don't wanna cry about it again because I am very emotional right now. Mother Nature is definitely in the room with us. If I had to choose between the two, I would pick this one. Because quality over quantity is what matters. Even though that's not the same in this case. But when it comes to service, maintenance, customer service, you want to live at a place where like they really understand and they take that stuff serious. Because if you stay at a place where they don't care about you, it's going to be a bad experience. And then you're going to be paying all this money for bad experiences. And I don't want that. No matter how beautiful the view is, no matter how much space it is, I love the view, the, the views there, and I love the space there. Like I kind of, I really want that panoramic view, but I don't really like the setup in the panoramic view as far as like how I would have to put my living room because it kind of makes it it feel small. But that first one, I, I loved it. I loved it. Welcome back to Burger King, Wade Roo. What's up? <laughs> yeah, ma'am. And what's your um drink? Um, can I do the um Coke Icy? You sure. You sure can. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Anything else I can do for you? No, that's all for me. All right, love you. Come on around. 846. Thank, thank you. Thank you. It was so nice. She <laughs> felt so at <Atlanta. laughs> Y'all, I seriously feel like... God really confirmed that with me. And I just, and the, the crazy thing is, I wouldn't have noticed it if I wouldn't have stopped and locked the door. Like I was locking the door and I was looking at the number and it just hit me. And out of all the things those numbers could have meant or symbolized or all the things I could have remembered, 
I remember the number zero six. And it's funny because God, oh my God, God showed me two different numbers. It was like zero six zero three. And then I remember saying zero six zero two. But I'm like, when I woke up, I'm like, was it zero six zero two or zero six zero three? And y'all, the number of the apartment is two three zero six. <laughs> so zero six zero six zero two zero six zero three and I know it's not in the same order but that's how God worked because like I remember I remember the numbers let's see how far my auntie is 846 thank you I love seeing people's nails because I'm trying to get an idea of what I want to do for my baby shower uh huh <laughs> I don't know why y'all over here, but that was another thing I was gonna say. I thought God was gonna confirm it with me through like a date. I just knew that 0603 or 0602 meant June 3rd or June 2nd, and I thought that that was when he was gonna think I should move or like. And it still could mean that, but it was the apartment number. Like out of all the apartments, it could happen. him. But I was in, I'm in love with that place, y'all. Um, I'm in love with it. 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 I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I can't wait to, I can't wait to be there. I'm going to speak into existence. I'm going to pray about it and give it to God. It's already mine. So, that's why I want to come on here and say and wrap all this talking up but I'm in traffic I'm not even on the highway I'm like getting on to the highway and there's 7 minutes traffic and I can't tell if I'm in a lane that's going to be going straight or going to the left because I need to be going straight so you got to fight for your life and you living here and you trying to switch lanes like they do not be trying to shoot over. And I don't even think it'd be like you be. Oh. I almost got hit. Like, people just get in front of me like, you have to. Baby, when I say I'm used to being able to drive and be on my phone, I ain't even gonna hold you. I be on my phone, I be driving. But you gotta pay attention on him. Because they'll get you. People jump right in front of you. It was right in front of you. But overall, I get that place 15 out of 10, y'all. I just love the service. What kind of apartment is supposed to be? It's like just a full one window. It ain't even giving like multiple. It's just one big old window. But the service was good. Everything was child 10. You don't got to pay for amenities. Or parking, which I love, because the other place I was going to tour tomorrow, which I'm going to cancel, you got to pay $65 for parking. And at first, you used to have to pay $65 a month for your guests to park. Oh no, your guests used to have to pay for parking, which is crazy. Like, but people were seeing how they started to hate being there, because why y'all charge people money to park? So, I like that. I'm going to charge for parking. You know, you can put trash. And if you got a pet, pet rent. And y'all know I got a pet, so I have to be paying pet rent. But. I'm gonna catch y'all when I get set up. Um, but I feel like I, I pretty much covered everything. Um, oh, that was, that's what I was gonna also tell y'all. So, she was like, Oh, do you do YouTube? Because she saw my camera. And I was like, Yeah, I do YouTube. And she was like, Okay. Mm -hmm. So, that's another good thing about living here. Like, a lot of influencers work here or content creators work here. So, you also had the opportunity to like bump into some content creators. I'm not sure if you already seen some. But I did see on my way out, it was the guy who had like a camera. So, content creators do live there, like, and your girl's a content girlie. So.